Hey there, this is Birch. Uh, this is kind of a tangled one, so I'm going to try and uh, report the news or, you know, just give you the news and then try and give you some commentary. But I'll try and separate the two because well, you'll see it gets it gets thorny uh, pretty quickly of what exactly is going on. So um, Bo DeMeo, all right, worked on X-Men 97, the uh, revival over at Disney Plus, uh, seemed to do pretty well. It uh, it got a lot. Of, I mean, you got a lot of hype at the beginning. On this channel, as you know, I said I don't have high expectations for it. The animation looks pretty cheap. Uh, watch the series; it was good. Um, I did, you know, not amazing. You know, it definitely beat my expectations. My expectations were were, were very, very low, um, just based on a track record. Not of not of woke Disney. A bunch of people sent me mail like, "Ah, oh, you're just pissed at everything Disney doing." No, the animation looked cheap. It just looked cheap, and and Disney. Uh, plus, hasn't had the best track record, not just within Marvel, but with a lot of things of having fairly cheap animation and just did it. I, I was not ex I was expecting their normal in terms of quality of the content, not not subject matter of the content anyway. Um, but it turned out to be pretty good. And uh, generally, aside from, you know, a few people who grumbled till the very end, uh, I guess there is some scene late in the whole thing where Morph is like, oh, I'm sorry. Wolverine, I'll miss you, friend. And people are like, ah, this proves he's gay. You had a an interesting simultaneous ejaculation from, <laughs> that is the right word, from uh, two groups. One group was like, hey, this proves my headcanon that Morph is gay. And then another group going, this proves my headcanon that Disney is uh, throwing gay into everything. And then you had the uh, the writer of that show be like, he was, he was sad because his friend was uh, he was just, he was just sad about his friend. We we weren't trying to uh, we weren't trying to convey that uh, there was a romance going on there, but uh, but okay, you do you, you know. It's like ah, ah well, whatever. Anyway, Bo DeMeo, um posts on Twitter, all right, or X. He posts firstly, I'm so grateful to have worked on X Men '97, collaborating with some amazingly talented folks. Creating this revival was a dream come true, and the support fans have shown is so touching. However, I felt it pressing for me to speak up in wake of leaving the show. And then there was a, um, he, he posted a, a, a post that I guess was on Instagram saying happy pride. And in it, he posts a picture of, I'm assuming it's himself. I think it, it looks vaguely like him. The character has some, some facial hair. I don't know Bo DeMeo, so I can't quite tell from the, the little Twitter, uh, thing. But, you know, in, in his little Twitter profile picture, he looks pretty jacked. Um, he does have some facial hair. So I think the idea is it's him. But anyway, so he posts a picture of him um, in a comic book kind of form. And in it, he's like his clothes have weirdly like, I don't know, there's some shading on it. You can't tell if the shirt's been ripped away or if he's there is no shirt. But it's basically Cyclops's uniform, the belt, the shorts, the little uh you know, the, the 90s band on the top and the visor and uh, nothing else. And he's saying, to me, my X-Men. And uh, then there's some blue highlighting that's, that's I think, meant to be highlights, but it kind of looks like his his costume is kind of just dissolved away to show his abs. Um, and that's kind of what you got. And then it says, um, above is X-Men fan art that I posted on Instagram for Gay Pride in June. On June 13th, Marvel sent a letter notifying me that they'd stripped my season two credits due to this post. Sadly, this is the latest in a troubling pattern I suffered while working on X-Men 97 and Blade. Okay. It says, I'll have more to say soon, but must take a step back from social media, probably always a good idea, to find a safer space for me to be out, proud, and nerdy. Stay tuned. So that's the story. So the immediate reaction, a lot of people said, you know, hey, this is unfair. Why are you getting uh, punished for what you post on social media? Um, you know, an another group was like, good. Finally, you got punished for posting something on social media. I, I you know, for me, and so this is where I'm trying to deviate from the news and the, the opinions. Um, I, I think it, you'd be hard pressed. You know, I, I definitely think that readers need to call sometimes from their employers to say, hey, you know, chill out with the... Uh, screaming at bands or telling, you know, getting too deep into to politics, you're isolating our customer base or just being a general crazy creep or an asshole. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. You know, being lecherous toward young girls is a great thing that they should be, you know, 
talked to, paused, potentially fired and put in jail, uh, depending on what's being said. Uh, uh, you know, the, the whole grooming aspect. Of things. Yeah, absolutely. I, th- I think there's a lot of areas where, you know, creators need to be called and said, hey, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Um, in this case, if you were posting a piece of fan art that was you, and uh, you're you're showing off your pecs and your abs, um, and yeah, not small bulge, um, in an X-Men outfit, and say happy pride, I, I don't think that warrants, I, I mean, for me, like, you'd be you, man, I, what does that matter? Now, if you posted fan art of, like, Cyclops, actual Cyclops, like, you know, feeling up Wolverine going happy pride, then definitely I think Marvel's like, hey, hey, that's RIP, but it, like, you're, you're attached to the show, don't do that, but this is clearly not a character in the X-Men. Maybe somebody thought it was Bishop who's to grab, stole Cyclops' clothes. I, I don't know if that's maybe the thing in there, but but it's clearly, to me, the author. Um and 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 what's the big deal? So you you know, my first reaction to that is how you know that that's ridiculous that Marvel's firing the person for this. I mean, for fuck's sake, have they seen what some of their other people are doing? Um, sorry, stripping of credits, which stripping of credits does mean you know, you're, you're not, that's not a good thing. So, you know, this comes out and a lot of people are like, oh man, it's terrible. Sorry, this happened to you and everything else. And so case closed, right? This is a, a clear case of, you know, somebody who, uh, you know, that th- this is a problem, right? Except, so then, then now here comes the, the new news or the other parts of this story. So Hollywood Reporter, March 12th, 2024, this is, you know, far before this post, Marvel shocker, X-Men 97 creator Bo DeMeo fired weeks before premiere. Okay. In an unusual situation on the Evo Project's debut, uh, debut, debut, I, I said that very French style, debut, I'm trying to class up the show. Um, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't be using a French accent if I wanted to class up anything. Anyway, the writer-producer uh, who worked on Moon Knight and Blade will no longer be promoting the show or moving forward in future seasons. Earlier this month, Bodebeo was in the midst of a particular busy time at Marvel Studios doing X-Men 97, blah, blah, blah. Talked about, um, you know, making plans, discussing ideas for a third season with members of the team. Uh, But Marvel and DeMeo suddenly parted ways. His company email was suddenly deactivated. Cast and crew informed he would no longer be on the project. That is not a case of somebody who just kind of wandered away. Uh, DeMeo's Instagram account, once a source for X-Men updates, was deleted. No reason that the firings were given. Marvel uh, has no comment. DeMeo's representatives did not return calls. Um, surprising turn of events. He was fired. Lots of speculation. And then he was silent on social media, uh, which was unusual because he was, a, in the words of Hollywood Reporter, a prolific poster sharing tidbits, uh, shirtless pictures of himself at the gym, etc. Um, he also ran a non-explicit OnlyFans account, which inspired the LGBTQ production publication out to declare him the sexy gay Marvel writer and showrunner to know. And Marvel sending a notice saying we've deleted you from season two credits. Um, I, you know, probably checks out. Is that is it truthful? Who knows? I mean, we'll know when season two comes out if his name's in the credits or not. I think it, that's it's it's one of those things where we don't know today, but you know, an answer will come. We'll have a definitive answer and we'll know relatively soon. The second part, though, that Marvel sent a letter saying they'd stripped me of the season two credits due to the post seems, uh, you know, strange considering he was fired or mutually agreed to part ways or whatever it happens to be. Look, you know, there's lots of different ways people exit from a company, but when you suddenly deactivate somebody's email and you notify everybody, hey, they're no longer working for us, it means one of two things. Either the person was fired and an investigation is going on and they're trying, you know, there's potential legal liability. So they're, they're shutting stuff down suddenly. This could be from, you know, the, the person who was fired threatening a lawsuit, or it could be that there was another person in there threatening a lawsuit. And so they're, as the investigation goes on, they're shutting things down. Or it, it, this, this happens in the case of when you hop to a competitor. So for example, if you were working on, you know, Marvel studios, and then suddenly you, you now, you know, you, you went and scored a job with, uh, Warner and you put in a two week notice saying, yeah, I'm leaving to go to the competition. Many times companies will be like, no, nope, you're leaving today. And then they just shut you down and it becomes very sudden. So there's, there's different reasons, but it's hard to believe that Marvel sent a letter, particularly in the midst of a, 
you know, you're fired. It got reported by, you know, legitimate news sites, like not the beat, but like the Hollywood reporter and actually more mainstream publications, you know, publications people read uh, that, you know, the guy was, was terminated. And then Marvel months later, again, you know, three months later, sends a mail saying, Hey, because you posted, you're no longer working for us, but because you posted this uh, shirtless fan art of you, uh, we're, you know, we're going to delete you from the credits. It, that's, that's highly unlikely. I'll, well, I'll put it this way. Um, that's a lawyer's dream because, you know, you did do work, you were paid for work. So if you did work on season two and you were paid for it, um, and it was your job arbitrarily removing you for the credits is within your rights as a company to do, but it, it causes you liability or risk by informing someone why. That's why if, if you're ever fired in many states, it's an at-will state, you know, they don't have to tell you why they're firing you. And they, they don't. Any Basically, any word you say is just adding to your risk. It's better to say nothing. It's better just to say, well, we're decided to terminate your employment. Why? Because it's within our rights. The end. Like any anything you say is just, you know, a future court case. You know, you're giving somebody information they can kind of work with. So to, to throw out the, hey, you posted this gay fan art on Instagram, and for that reason, we're removing you from the credits of a show we paid you for. It could be. I mean, people are dumb, but highly, highly unlikely. It's just it's it's a claim that if that is true and the letter exists and it was actually sent you would immediately walk into a lawyer's office and you would nail them to the wall. That's what you would do. It, it, it's just, it just seems unlikely that in 2024, you can say, hey, you know, basically invent a story. And, and again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you actually get this letter. But uh, put it this way. It can go the other way, too. If, Mar if he doesn't have a letter in his possession that Marvel said, hey... You posted this uh, happy pride post, and as a result, we're removing you from the credits. If if that letter doesn't exist, Disney's lawyers absolutely have have a case of their own around defamation, because you're, you're basically insinuating that a giant corporation didn't like your pride picture, and as a result, you know you're 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 losing out on you know owed credit. It, that that it, it would be i mean it, disney is is a fairly litigious company um I, I you know i i hope he has that letter put it that way if he has that letter he's got an amazing case if he doesn't have that letter he's going to need a lawyer for a completely different reason because it's going to come the other direction who knows what actually happened on on set again we've there's been lots of people who speculated there's lots of people who claim they have insiders we have not heard the full story but um you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, as the world turns, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And thanks for listening. A few minutes later. Oh, hang on a second. So uh, before we close this whole thing off, uh, literally an hour uh, after I, I made my initial uh, video on this topic, um, you know, <laughs> breaking news. Uh, Hollywood reporter Marvel fires back over X-Men 97 creators claim he was stripped of season two credit and cites egregious uh, investigation findings. Um, so uh, as I speculated just seconds ago, um, the idea that Bo uh, DeMeo was actually fired or, you know, sorry, had his uh, credits removed uh, for a uh, happy pride tweet. Uh, also strange considering Marvel and tons of people at Marvel post pride stuff all the time. So it would, that would, again, it's, it's, it's a lawsuit adventure. Uh, meaning if that letter exists, if, if there's a letter where printed in that letter, it says that, um, you know, because you posted this pride thing, you're in trouble. Um, now there's an interesting twist here, but we'll get to it. But Regardless, uh, Marvel has reached out saying bullshit, uh, basically uh, gave insight to the firing. Marvel says it occurred after an investor, internal investigation revealed egregious findings. They're, they're citing the reason for his termination, which they've been quiet about, which would indicate some level of mutual agreement or, or NDA attached to the whole thing. Um, Marvel said DeMeo's behavior was a cause for his firing and for him losing his credits. Mr. DeMeo was terminated in March 2024 following an internal investigation 
Given the egregious nature of the findings, we severed ties with him immediately, and he has no further affiliation with Marvel. Uh, sources say that following his exit, an agreement was reached between two parties over the issue of tweeting about the show, something that DeMeo had continued to occasionally do. In light of his breaches, his credit for season two was removed. So it's kind of a half true, half not true. Now, if you go back to uh, DeMeo's original uh, post, um, he says, Marvel sent me a letter notifying me that they'd strip me of my season two credits due to this post. Sounds like Marvel is saying they stripped him of the credits due to him breaking the agreement where he was posting overall about X-Men 97. Definitely uh, this, this, le- this, this tweet was written to infer that it had, uh, you know, it had to do with pride or, or the fact that he's gay. And uh, the added line of, sadly, this is the latest troubling pattern I suffered through, um, indicates there's homophobia and other things going on. Marvel's basically saying, look, we came to an agreement here with this guy after firing him for egregious uh, findings. Now, we can all speculate as to what that means in a moment. But anyway, uh, Marvel's saying, no, absolutely not true. He broke his he broke his agreement. And so we, you know, the consequence of that was terminating his credits, um, which which is common. So now, kind of like I said before, the 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 real next step sits with the truth. So what's in the letter? If if the letter what's in the original contract and agreement um, highly i mean look you place your bets right but i i would say it's it's all but certain that uh de Mayo is trying to kind of drum up a little bit of additional press for himself it's been quiet for a couple months he's he did make a comment uh, a bit ago that he was uh, trying to get himself a seat at the emmys uh to, for the uh for for his work on 97 and was denied meaning marvel disney didn't give him a seat um so anyway there, there you have it. Uh, <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Um, you know, after, so DeMeo has responded to Marvel's response saying, the truth will be revealed after their Disney Plus disaster. Huh? Marvel wants to mislead with alleged contract breaches over tweets. It's tragic. It's come to this, but unsurprising. Stay tuned. So now there's a lot of saber rattling. Um, un, you know, undoubtedly Marvel has sent uh, DeMeo a little bit of a hey, last chance, or we're going to really fuck you over here. Um, his, the idea of him going to work for another big studio is dead. I will, I will tell you, despite the fact that these these studios compete with each other, there's zero chance that say Warner is going to be like, hey, you, you say there's an internal investigation with egregious findings, but uh, you know, this, this, this pride picture is really awesome. Let's, let's put you on a justice league cartoon. It, it, like he, his, the, the bridges have been scorched. And unfortunately, you know, the question mark about what the egregious behavior is, it will come out. Um, but undoubtedly pretty bad. And so anyway, there you go. Updates. Some things, things happen quickly. Thanks for listening. A few minutes later. Yeah, actually there's a, there's a little bit more. So after the conclusion of the second edition to the video, um, just an hour or two later, word came out that part of the egregious things that he was fired for was actually uh, sending naked photos of himself as um, as body references for, for characters. So when you're watching X-Men 97, it's Bo's apps you're looking at all over with all those characters, for sure. Um, and apparently the staff was like, ah, we don't really need these of you. I, we, we got the internet. There's as much porn as we could possibly ever want in that video. Um, but, uh, apparently he saw, allegedly he sent them anyway. So, uh, you know, that all this said, the moral of this story is simply this, just, just let Wesley Snipes be blade, do blade four and call it a day in morons. Thanks for listening. Fuck.